Hello and welcome to the Siesta Show. It's Monday 11th of May and we've come down to have a little drink today and relax. It's such a nice day, it's a little bit breezy but absolutely gorgeous so not a good idea to be stuck in the office today. So really what I wanted to do today I just wanted to say that um, obviously we were a bit absent last week and as many people know we had a bit of a problem with the website last weekend, not this weekend, gone the one before and uh, we were just recovering last week from it. We had a lot of things to sort out, a lot of things to fix. Uh, it looks like everything's okay now, so we should be all right now going forward. Now I want to tell you as well that because what we're gonna be doing uh, over the next couple of weeks, we um, were talking to Antonio, who you might remember from some previous interviews that we did with him, who um, works for Costa Vice Bureau in Estepona. Well, they're starting a campaign to save the Chiringuitos. And as you know, the Chiringuitos, the, you know, those restaurants that are on the beach, and because this uh, coastal law has come in, which says that you can't have a business or something that's not public on a public space, i.e. the beach, then um, all the Chiringuitos are supposed to go off the beaches, which we think is ridiculous because they're so good for tourism and everything. Everyone just loves Chiringuitos. So we're going to help Antonio and the Chiringuito owners um, to start this campaign for um, to save the Chiringuitos. But we'll give you more of that hopefully later on this week. We're just going to make sure it's not too windy because we've got to film at one of the Chiringuitos for you and let you know what's happening and everything. So um, it's a good cause I think and we really, um, you know, it could affect so many jobs and everything if it does go through. This is coming from Madrid, it's a big, big problem say. But more info on that soon. Um, also, myself and Susan are heading off to Jerez on Saturday because it is the, it is the famous Feria de Jerez. So, um, and it's supposed to be spectacular with the uh, horses and everything. There's a lot of noise over there. But um, it's supposed to be really, really good. So next week, we're gonna bring you some footage of the Feria de Jerez, which I think is gonna be really, really good. Um, what else is coming? Well, uh, we're also going to get Jim back on and he talked to us about damp problems last time and next time we get him on, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be this week or next week, it'll be to do with swimming pools um, and some of the problems with swimming pools. So it should be quite interesting to have Jim on again. Um, but lots more, we're going to be a little bit more organised now. Um, we're back, we're back, we're back definitely uh, on course. So. Um, until Wednesday, when Wednesday we're going to be bringing you our next golf episode, uh, which is quite a good one actually, it's quite interesting, a bit of fun, um, I couldn't get my words out when I was trying to present that one, so um, <laughs> I'm not sure what Colin's going to do with the editing on that one, but um, it should be good. So lots coming, we're back, I'm enjoying the nice day, Colin's coke is waiting for him, so better say goodbye and see you on Wednesday, bye.